Welcome back, Otter Creek, Florida, and the Shady Bunch Facebook followers and DJ Radis fans. Originally, we were scheduled for an interview with Thomas Collins, but he took a page out of Lie Nett's book and claimed his mother was dying too and was unable to make the interview. So this week, we reached out to Shart the Fart Michelle for her exclusive interview. Welcome, Shart Michelle, to the show. So from one real journalist to a Facebook journalist, why have you waged war on Otter Creek residents and the town's followers? First off, I want to state I'm not only a Facebook journalist, I cover real stories, too. Just currently, I'm waiting on my application to join the CNN news crew. Kim Start. So what is your problem with some of the residents of Otter Creek? You were supposedly meant to go visit there over six months ago, but never showed up. What happened? Well, when Lynette invited me down, she told me I could stay with her and the child. She told me she was reaching out to Mr. Hales to fund her the money for a new start at life and buy John out. Turns out she failed to convince him to give her the money. And while my only other option was to sleep outside in the dog kennel, they converted into a shelter for the turtles. Okay, so you answered why you didn't go there, but what is your problem with the Otter Creek residents and the followers slash supporters of Otter Creek? The residents and supporters of Otter Creek called me out for being a liar. They called me names to the point where I cry myself to sleep every night. I feel they blocked me from really exposing myself creatively as a journalist. I vowed from that point forth I would expose myself to a select few. I mean, the truth in that town. You said Lynette invited you to come down and do a story on the town. How did you and Lynette meet? This is a bit of an embarrassing answer, but... Lynette and I both met 15 years ago while working at a titty bar in West Virginia. I left after Lynette got fired one night for tripping over her own saggy boobs while dancing on stage. I felt bad for her and followed her out. We became best friends from that point on. We spoke outside for hours and I discussed how I wanted to one day become a journalist and she mentioned she had always felt connected to turtles due to her long neck that extends just like turtles do. So I moved to New Jersey and she moved to Florida and we followed our dreams. Thank you for that odd story. Getting back to Otter Creek, in my notes I have something about you searching for a golden key. What the hails is that all about? The golden key idea came to me one night in a dream. I was approached by a garden gnome telling me I had to find the golden key in Otter Creek. The gnome told me once I had the golden key, all the truths would come out and I would have the biggest news story since Princess Diana died back in 1997. When I woke up, I had to tag every post and every video I made about this golden key. So this garden gnome that spoke to you, you believe it was real? Yes. It also told me the truth I am searching for are within these 6,000 emails Mr. Hales got. I submitted my Freedom of Information Act request to get a copy of all the emails, but my request was ignored. The mayor at the time stated I was required to pay for the request. I'm a journalist. I don't need to pay for anything. It's the people's free right to know. You understand that's not how things work when submitting for Freedom of Information requests. Even Mr. Hales had to pay. Well, it doesn't matter now. Anyway, I spoke to my Tinder partner Thomas Collins and he ended up paying for the emails and sent them to me. I promised him we would go to second base when I eventually come down. Don't you find that morally wrong not only getting Thomas Collins to do your investigative journalism but promising him sexual favors at the same time? No, we are in love. He is my soulmate. He will do anything for me. He asked me for some feet pictures of me smooshing cake between my toes. I was more than happy to oblige. Well, I have a few more questions to ask as our time is running out. It seems you have a problem with other women who have knowledge or degrees or even those who wear Prada. Could you explain why? Other women intimidate me. They make me feel nervous, especially when it comes to basic knowledge. Last question. When are you going to finally release your full story? Well, it would appear that Shart Michelle just up and left. I guess we will never find out when that story is being released. Hopefully next week we can get an interview with someone else from the known Shady Bunch to hear their story. Don't forget to like the video, leave a comment, share it on all social media platforms, and subscribe for more content. DJ Radis releases something new generally every few days for up-to-date information on everything Otter Creek and the Shady Bunch. Join us on Facebook, search for Otter Creek Fell and the Shady Bunch. We are currently at 1,700 members and growing daily. 